Let's take a quick look at uh, the MIDI section of VPT. I've hooked up my uh, nano control MIDI controller after I opened up uh, VPT. So in, yeah, I'm now in the MIDI tab. And to kind of rescan the MIDI uh, bus, you click on this button. And uh, let's see if we can find our controller. And here it is. I just selected from the list. And let's see, I'm now moving slider 1 on my uh, controller and you can see I get incoming values, now I'm doing slider 2. So basically this number here will correspond to the control number I'm going to use in the router. So let's try to map something to the first controller. So I go to the router and see that there's already something connected there. And you could actually, I didn't even see that. I'm actually changing now the mixing of these two layers because the same controller, controller one, is controlling the mix level of both mixer one and two. Uh, you can also use the software or built in sliders and buttons as controllers. This, this can be useful for grouping several layers together, for instance. So this one corresponds to the, since this is controller 1, it has the same, uh, does exactly the same as the slider does. It might be useful to sometimes route the control date or the control numbers to different sections. So I, you have the possibility of offsetting the values of the controllers or the control uh, numbers. So for instance, if I want the soft sliders 